Some of the nation's governors and leading Democrats continue to complain about the inability to conduct widespread testing in the United States, but on Sunday, President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence said it's not so. Both Trump and Pence said there is enough testing capacity in this country to allow any state to begin reopening, if they also have two weeks of case declines and strong hospital capacity in the event of a flare up. President Trump announced on Sunday, We have tested 4.18 million Americans. He called it a world record. The United States has conducted more total tests than all of the following nations combined France, the United Kingdom, South Korea, Japan, Singapore, India, Australia, Sweden, and Canada. Our testing is expanding very rapidly by millions and millions of people. We are doing a great job. Trump announced that today, he and Vice President Pence will lead a call from FEMA headquarters with the nation's governors to review what more they can do and do together to develop locally tailored testing strategies. Before the call, we will send them a full list of all the large laboratory machines in the states. Trump said some governors didn't realize they have additional testing capacity, many governors are relying on their state laboratories rather than the full and much larger capacity that is available to them, as an example, commercial laboratories like Quest and LabCorp. Trump said the administration also continues to procure millions of swabs and test collectors. Vice President Pence said Monday's call with all the governors will provide them with information about all of the lab capabilities that exist in their state. A month ago, we had done 80,000 tests in America. This weekend, we cleared more than 4 million. We are testing more than 1 million Americans a week. We expect to have tested more than 5 million before the end of this month. Pence said the White House task force will continue to work with governors to make sure they can manage and implement and deploy testing in a way that will help them move closer to opening their states. Remember that the testing that is contemplated in the guidelines for opening up America again, for phase one, air testing people that have symptoms that may be the illness, and having testing resources to deploy to vulnerable communities, nursing homes, or other vulnerable communities that we identified as needing additional monitoring or surveillance testing. Pence said. We believe we have the testing today around the country that would allow any state in America to move into phase one if they met the other criteria 14 days of declines in cases and strong hospital capacity so that the system would not be overwhelmed in the event of a flare up. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on Sunday reiterated the blatantly false claim that President Donald Trump said the Wuhan virus is a hoax. Pelosi said, I'm afraid he's going to act on the set basis of what he's acted before. It's a hoax, it's magically going to disappear. And that's why I sent out the letter that I did after Easter. Easter gave me time for reflection and prayerfulness about okay, we don't want to keep harping on what he did wrong, because he's failed. He's failed in the testing, and the rest, and it's a hoax, it's going to magically disappear. That's not based on science. This isn't magical. This is scientific. According to the speaker, if the president makes decisions based on his earlier false premises, then the American people are in trouble. She said. And his earlier delay and denial caused deaths. Pelosi made the case that decisions should be based on scientific data and not whimsy, magic, hoax allegations, and placing blame instead of taking responsibility. She said she decided to send her letter after Easter because it became apparent that Trump was drawing strength from his own view of what his falsehoods were gaining him, and we cannot, we cannot fight a pandemic, we cannot open up our economy based on falsehoods. Democrats continually run with this narrative that President Trump said the Wuhan virus was a hoax, but that is completely false. Even the Washington Post gave that four Pinocchios when Joe Biden's team used the clip for a campaign ad. According to Washington Post, at the 10 second mark, the camera shows a tight shot of the president saying the virus and then cuts to a wide shot where he says, This is their new hoax. Both clips are from Trump's February 28 campaign rally in North Charleston, South Carolina, but he never said the virus, this is their new hoax. Rather, Biden's ad clipped a large part of Trump's speech to make it seem as though he had.